play back. Sneeko obliterates the red pill. Godfather. Let's go. So a couple videos ago, we talked about the eight quickest ways to become a high value man. Mm. Now the man himself made that tweet in there. Um, he gave us two very pivotal information. So one was a vasectomy and two was avoiding child creation. Now we did a lot of speculation on what exactly he meant by that. So we actually have the man himself, the godfather red pill, as well as sneak on it. That seemed to give him a little bit pushback. Let's see what he meant by that. You want to be a high value man. If you want to get to that apex level as fast as you can, that's it. How is that not the, the, uh, the best Best way to go about it okay so the point of that whole tweet which was basically a throwaway tweet that everyone started like snowballing into something else i've got ben shapiro coming at me i got matt walsh coming at me i got lauren chen coming at me i got all these people off of daily wire because it was just easy low-hanging fruit for these guys because they think that that's what the manosphere is all about and it's not okay that was not advice everything that is on twitter yes it was bro you no. don't get it wasn't advice. Is he trying to say it was fact? Like, they're facts? What do you want about? Being fruit for these guys because they think that that's what the fucking manosphere is all about. And it's not, okay? That was not <laughs> advice. Everything that is on Twitter. Yes, it was. Bro, you, no. don't get to, you don't get to just pretend like you shout out the tweet, but then you didn't want nothing to do with it. Literally, like, you said these are the eight things to become a high value man. Yeah. That was quite literally advice. No. Why would you sh advice that important why not take time to consider uh, all the potential advice. ramification imagine a whole bunch of niggas was like oh shit the godfather said let me just go get some vasectomies it wasn't start advice. snipping and snipping away at their penis it was a throwaway tweet bro you don't get it bro that's it insane you, you can't just walk that back why don't you just say i was wrong bro <laughs> so again just a quick reminder of what is not advice do not get married Avoid family creation. For second me in your 20s, uh, live consistently. Eliminate all sedation. Learn game and networking. Play, uh, play to your strengths and build wealth. Resist uh, easing up on your focus. Does that not all sound like advice? You gave bad advice. Just say like, you know, after reconsidering it, I, I was wrong. But instead, yeah. you're choosing to pretend as if they're like, oh, I didn't even mean nothing truly by it. When I told niggas to not get married, I was like, I, I was just, that was a throwaway tweet. I was just throwing that advice away. Really, at the end of the day, I was just throwing it on Twitter. A bunch of people are just using the internet as an opportunity to grift and make money from different factions by making people more extreme. So like they'll just sell you on an ideology and they don't choose to explore beyond that because that's not what's gonna sell. And so it's like, there's no nuance. It's just like, let's subscribe to these beliefs blindly. And niggas like this guy is gonna take advantage of it. Like sure, he probably says things that are useful for men. But I'm saying when you can't even admit when you gave bad advice, like how is that a nigga you're supposed to take seriously? You don't. But it's a whole bunch of people trying to monetize the fact that they could potentially build an audience by grifting. And the part that gets me upset is there's actual expert. Like, it's one thing to be an expert and have an opinion. Mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson is an expert. He was a professional for decades. He has an opinion. Whether or not you agree with his opinion or disagree is irrelevant. But he's not, he has, he has a wealth. He has a career of, point is, is like, there's just niggas that don't have titles. They be in their 20s. Run around like Pearl and I don't know who the fuck this nigga is. Just run around giving advice because they know they can monetize it. That was not fucking advice. Everything that is on Twitter is not advice. Okay? Was, was that a joke? No, it was not to say a joke, but it's like, let's it? just say it's a hypothetical, okay? A uh, hot okay. <laughs> what is this man saying, bro? It's what? showing you now let me hypothetical is for just five seconds, okay? This is no joke here because everything that's come out of both of you guys' mouth has been nothing but distraction and misdirection because it's easy clicks for you so here's the whole thing that tweet was easy clicks for you what do you want this nigga got tight but he again, pissed bro he is pissed because they're fucking you know what I'm saying somebody's cut they're questioning him if you go back to the tweet majority of that tweet would not be deemed as a hypothetical majority of the, the that, that tweet are things in which these men preach routinely they make full videos about it, the explanation behind most of the things that were on that list it becomes a hypothetical because you made a hyperbolic statement that you now do not want to get behind anymore because you sound crazy from making that sentiment but y'all have made endless videos recommendations i don't know you don't call it advice anymore but y'all have made several videos explaining the importance of majority of things that were in that tweet but now all of a sudden it's a hypothetical that makes no sense that would make all your advice hypotheticals yeah when i'm talking about get a vasectomy or don't be or don't be or don't be concerned with like when he's mad his glasses get uneven on his nose you see yeah. let, let, let him put it. okay i'm really mad about this bro shall we, shall we shall we keep going Dude, yeah, yeah. are we just gonna have jokes thrown in here really heated about this is that, is, that, is that what i get to is that what i get to, 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 to do it okay so here's the deal 
Right. When I'm when I'm talking about this, when I'm throwing this out there, why wouldn't you do that? Would you not have been more successful, Sneeko, had you not had to go through certain things? If you had a kid right so now, advice you, or not. Would not, you would be you would be playing the game with a handicap. You would be playing the game with your fucking uh, hands tied behind your back. Okay, so we're there all right now. There are guys right now who you have, who I have a lot of respect for, and I'm sure you have a lot of respect for as well, who are who all have kids. But you know what they try to do? They try to keep it under wraps. Okay, try so to make sure that nobody advice. knows about the kids. Okay. What is advice? Mm -hmm. So here's a, okay. First off, this is not advice. Everything that is on my show or is on Twitter is not automatically advice. But, now, what is here, it? but here's you have this set. <laughs> <laughs> what is this man saying, bro? Yo. <sighs> automatically, that if it comes out of your mouth, it's <clears throat> automatically advice. It can't just be data. It can't just be statistics. It can't be, nothing can be just delivered. Well, sort of like, here's some, here's some data for you to look at, okay? Sure. Nothing can be, nothing can be. It's not data. Data would have numbers and support and there would be some, there would be a, a wealth of evidence to back up. You just yeah. gave a list of things. <laughs> Quite, are you trying to convince us it's not, do you think we're like fucking dumb? I don't know. Nigga, bro. we're not dumb, nigga. We all look at that. We're not, we didn't just learn the English language, pussy. Like we know that that's fucking, that's, oh my God. I, I'm sitting here trying to listen to this nigga tell me, yo, this is, not an energy drink it's just a drink with a bunch of chemicals in it it's not bro, this is not petroleum jelly bro it's not petroleum and i'm sitting here looking at petroleum jelly bro come on bro this this might work if you're under the age of 10 i promise it might this, again like you said them just trying to sell this image and this ideology to a bunch of people and then when they get caught on how ridiculous it sounds now they're trying to backpack it and say yeah bro things that i was explaining on mike that should be done all of a sudden that's no like like, like they 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 it's like they stand firm on what they say, but when somebody has something, something to say against it or question it, they can't stand firm how they did before the people were coming in at them. You know what I'm saying? No longer advice. It's a hypothetical. Bro. I was explaining on Mike that should be done. All of a sudden, that's no longer advice. It's a hypothetical. Bro. Like, what are we saying right you now? You are bro? a serial advice giver. You give <laughs> advice. That's what you do. Your purpose is to try and teach people your ideology. Or how to be a high value man. So if a lot of what you do is advice, you get on these podcasts and you give plenty of advice, then why when you do it on Twitter, it's a hypothetical? Why, when it's finally a take that people don't agree with, it's a yeah, hypothetical. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Because if everybody agreed with what you're saying, you would have been like, "Yeah, I gave great advice." <laughs> no, over the yeah, yeah, top. yeah. And that and everybody ass. wants to take it out of out of context, which is exactly what you guys have been doing. So, it's, what is it? Can you tell me what that tweet was? If it wasn't advice, what it's is, not advice. What it is, is it is it's it's okay. It's saying that this is the most extreme way to do things. Okay, here's the uh, here's the um, the quickest path to if i told you this look if i said the f the quickest way for you to make a million dollars this man just pulls like, it literally, off literally like putting it on the screen is even worse <laughs> he just pulled it off it's even worse. and he said if i if this tweet was if i told you how to make a million dollars it is it, it's advice bro it's, it's advice like putting it on the what screen is even doing? worse <laughs> it's even worse <laughs> It's even like when you put it on the screen, it's even worse when he says it, bro. That sounds like advice. It's to go, it's to go steal it from the bank or go to steal it. Does that mean I'm telling you to go steal it? <laughs> if I tell you to go fucking jump off a cliff, are you going to go jump off a cliff? Right, I'm also, by the way, by the way, here's the other thing is I'm also <laughs> responding to Dr. Richard Reeves in this as well. Okay. It, it, there's a lot of context about it. Sure. But all the rest of the lists, you're equating vasectomy to lifting game play to your strength resisting up on easing your focus the rest of it sounds like general advice okay well let's let's say so so let me let me ask you so is it, is it the vasectomy part that's throwing you off really genuine good advice right the rest so of it, is it the, so is it the vasectomy part is yeah the vasectomy part? Part? Does, do you agree with pretty much everything else except for the vasectomy part the first three is weird because then I don't even know what the red pill idea of a high value man is is, is it just being rich like what's the point of having yeah. all this money and not having a family yeah. Why be that rich? The guy who's always grinding. Whoa, Brandon Carter doesn't have to do his laundry. Sick. What else are you going to do with your life? Right. Right. <laughs> Maybe this is actually meant so that you'll get it. You'll have a freaking epiphany about how there's how the, all the shit that you have to sacrifice to get to that in the first place. What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to are you willing to live the kind of life that say like a Brandon Carter is where you're going to outsource your entire life? Or are you going to actually have, have kids? kids? Is that something that's a priority for you? Because I will tell you 
you right now that if you do, if, if you follow this kind, if you fo if you were to actually follow this list right here, that is the fastest way for you to get to a point where you are more high value. Which is so what advice. You, which is what you try and teach people to yeah, do. Yeah, bro, advice. advice. If you follow these list of things to do, you will. That's so. That's, that's advice. That's advice, bro. So Jesus, you're literally saying the things that this man just don't like. He he's not liking the heat that's coming his way, bro. And he's trying to go against what he literally just put out. You're like it's, you're like giving the definition of advice without accepting the fact that you are advising that this is advice, right? Uh, All right. So Howard Sneeko is getting to this point where he's trying to figure out if you're advising men or if you're saying to follow these steps of becoming a high value man in the quickest way possible. It sounds as if like we may be disagreeing on what it means to be a high value man. So Sneagle then prompts the question, what exactly does it mean to be a high value man? Which is a fantastic question. Like that. You've been talking a lot for five minutes. What is your definition of a high value man? <laughs> It doesn't matter. That's not what I was talking about in this. Well, it matter. Is it I, I have what you're talking about. That's oh what my God. Now it doesn't matter. It's literally all you guys talk about is not. He is stop. pissed. Is advice? How does it not matter anymore? It mattered so much for three years. It Man's lost relevance pissed. just like that over the course of this convo. And Thanos snap. The front of the first part of the tweet is how to become a high value man. The fastest way to become a high value man is to oh, recognize the fact to what recognize the fact that you've got that you've got sacrifices to make. Okay. You so like what is that? Telling like stories from Vietnam. Like, like just say what is a high value man it's the first part of the tweet what does that mean you tell me what a high value man is oh, you, because here's the thing is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what i'm going to say is a high value man yeah it does because you made that fucking tweet bro they want to know where your head is at you got some fucking because it's your tweet <laughs> <laughs> what the it fuck? doesn't matter what i say is a high value man because everybody takes this the point of the and tweet is that everybody is going to take this and then insert their own definition of what a high value man what is they want to know yours, though. Fuck the tweet. Answer the question, gang. I know you the you 12 kids when you're 16. <clears throat> then your tweet doesn't work, does it? What if your definition of a high-value man is being a, a getting into a trade and having five kids by the time you're 22? Then it also... Wait, 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 being an esports professional. Wait, you're, making you know? my, you're absolutely making my point for me right here, okay? This is what I'm, I'm saying. saying. My point is, is it high-value man? You gave a list of eight things. Do these eight things to become a high value man? Do one through eight to become A. And you're not defining what A is. The fastest way to becoming a high value man. I swear to God, I actually think he's brain dead. Yeah, <laughs> he's done, bro. And you, you, and it's on. You know what's funny? It's like everything you say sounds good when you say it to people that agree with you. But once you say it to niggas that don't agree with you, like yeah. shit begins to crumble. Like it doesn't hold up to scrutiny, bro. He's asking good questions. And I mean, the good, like basic, fundamental questions. And what's even scarier is that we've got this deep into this whole red pill manosphere space and one of the f fundamental foundational members of the of the manosphere cannot answer a very yeah. basic question to him what does it mean to be a he's high avoiding it bro man? what is that what does that mean he's avoiding or he's trying to put it on them which obviously everybody has their opinions and views on certain things but like they're asking you for your you know what i'm saying fuck the tweet we're not on the tweet right now. What is your definition, bro? It doesn't matter. That's not what I was talking about in this. You can't then sit here and say that, oh, it doesn't really matter when it's literally been the entire point of your, you, you giving advice. Why y'all having men, this convo right now? To mold young men. The whole concept of guiding <laughs> men in a certain direction is to become a high value man. But when we ask you, what does it mean? You now all of a sudden, it doesn't matter. This is like literally, this is literally like one-on-one -on -one of just trying to sell someone a, a image or idea, like this big dream. And then you ask them, well, what is it at the, what's, what's it, what's at the end of this rainbow? What's at the end of the path? What, what is it that we're trying to accomplish? And they're going to keep just pushing it forward and not really they be very vague and semantics <laughs> because they want you to continue to go down this path so they can just keep leading you along to nothingness, bro. Before one by one, what is a high value man? We can't have an argument if I don't even That's know what your definition is. The point is the, the very fact that you're even asking this in the first place is the actual point of the tweet okay so if you got if you're going to be a high value man with the fucking hands tied behind your back then what is that what does that mean to you that's the point this whole discussion is the point of the fucking tweet do you, not, you guys one of the tweet was you've got some conception of a high value man here are eight points that you think you need to do to get to it and now you've gotten blown the fuck up on the vasectomy thing which you probably realize is fucking retarded but you're too old and stubborn to walk back from it that's the point of this conversation i'm not too stubborn to walk back from it because the point of it was to get d douche nozzles like yourself to
have this conversation in the first place. <laughs> Cringe. You're a weird one, Buckaroo. You're this man is. Oh, he is pissed, bro. This man is pissed. How old are you? Cringe. <laughs> You're a weird one, Buckaroo. You're weird. Douche nozzles. God damn, bro. Hey, bro. This right here is a. I never heard a man say that fucking word. Guy, this is the godfather, the grandfather, whatever he is, of the red pill, bro. Oh, you a douche nozzle, Come nigga. On. You're a douche nozzle. Nah, I fucking hate douche nozzles. Oh, like you, douche bro. nozzle. One, one thing about me, bro, I got it. Can't fuck with these douche nozzles. <laughs> Ass nigga, bro. What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm calling a nigga douche nozzle <laughs> on stream today. Stupid. Oh, douche nozzle. <laughs> hey man, that nigga douche no douche nozzle, man. The fuck does that mean, bro? Y'all you understand like how like just crazy this is you right now? You have to define. That's you know what I realized. <sighs> Even in my own relationships, like that actually is that's a good point though. What they're saying is such a good point because you don't even realize when it's happening. Sometimes you got different definitions of the same term. So the yeah. argument you're having, you will never see each other's POV yes. because you won't argue <clears throat> about the same thing. Yeah. So they're trying to just clarify definitions and he's making it so complicated. All they're asking him is a simple question he's probably answered thousands exactly. of times before, but he's afraid to answer it. And this is the truth because he knows it will not hold up to scrutiny. Exactly. So he can't bear actually answer and say what's at the core of his fucking beliefs because he knows it will crumble. That's fucking sad. You built your life around this ideology. You better Sheesh. get it together and fucking spit it out, nigga, on this podcast. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> douche nozzles? Yes. You, okay. you guys are idiots. Why do you guys come in here from Twitch Strat? Like, how you guys are legitimate in all of this? I don't know because everything I hear come out of you guys' mouth is just confident ignorance. That's I'm asking, like, I'm from no, 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 Meyer, Meyer. Okay, I'm not asking you, like, in terms of the debate. You call yourself the godfather of the red pill. You call myself the godfather of the manosphere, okay? okay? Other people have called me that. Okay, great. That's that very... Do you okay. understand? Okay, so the as that... Or grandfather of the man? Which one is it? Whatever it is, the old guy of the manosphere. What is your definition <laughs> of high-value man? This is the number one talked-about topic on all of these shows, <laughs> so I want to get a clear definition from you. What is it? You tell again. It depends Jeez, on the person. It no Guy. shit. It depends on the person, motherfucker. They're asking you, Mister Godfather, Grandfather, Abuelo, whatever the fuck, bro. They're asking you, bro. Yikes! Yikes! Ooh, he's getting bad. He he's getting bad, pissed, dog. bro. And I'm telling you why he can't answer. Because when it it will not hold up to exactly the, his coral belief. Will Bro. not hold up to basic criticism. See, what you, see, here's All right. <clears throat> I mean, this is probably it. Probably wouldn't have, but I feel like what would have saved his ass in that tweet was my my definition of a high value man is if you do this, this, and that. Mine, or in my opinion, right. That probably would have saved his ass. Probably not. But like, bro. The thing is, you guys want you want you guys want me to say, okay, a high value man makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. He's fucked fifty chicks. He no, we want you to give you your, your definition. Of, oh my god, the problem is, is he's I'm pretending like there's it. infinite definitions. It just depends on what you value. But if that was true, look back at the tweet. Exactly. That's not what the tweet communicated. Your tweet communicated. He could have said, in my opinion, the quiz quickest path, or my belief. To becoming a high value man is whoa 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 whoa. You didn't fucking do that, bro. Your tweet comes off as if this is mandatory. You need to do this. If you don't do this, you're nothing. Indicated there was the an fuck? ideal high value man, and this is how you aspire to it. And one of Jeez. them was cutting your dick. So we're as he the big how is it like, bro? This is like this is a very I mean, but again, it's not I hard to answer, bro. That he's this dumb he's, he's not, not he's not he's this dodging dumb. purposely he's, do he's dodging purposely, yes. which is why this is even more problematic this is a part of the grift this is something very fundamental to what they believe in. Uh -huh. also what you're instead of instead of finding <laughs> out that your core beliefs don't hold up to scrutiny the purpose of the red pill absolves it ceases to exist if this is truly how you feel if you truly believe a high value man just exists bro you know what it what, what it could be to his ego him hearing he's the red pill godfather and all this shit, right? It feeds into his ego. Once he answers that question, how everybody wants him to answer it, and it goes against his fucking tweet. 
his ego, <laughs> is his confidence. <laughs> You're not saying the people call him Godfather. <laughs> not happening anymore. You're not saying. Based on your definition, then I, mean, I think high value it has to be, be obese and 700 pounds. And I think they should be broke and live in their mom's house. That's my definition. And I'll give you the eight tips on how to do it. You can have your own tips. But at that point, it has no meaning for nobody, <coughs> dumbass nigga. Okay, now let's stop. Think about this very carefully. Do they not then criticize women for doing the exact same thing? When women come in these podcasts and they sit in there and they try to explain how they value themselves and how men have to accept them for what they are, is he not basically saying the exact same thing? Facts. Because they'll say, men decide what they value from exactly. women. Exactly. If, if that is the case, then the women should really be deciding on average what they value in men. Exactly. So men they seek the most is what's considered high value. I don't yep. even like the term because that's not, doesn't make you a good human at all. Yep. It just means that you're most desired by women. Yes. Yep. But you can't even make <coughs> these points because you suck at arguing and you're in a room full of people that argue a lot and for a living and dead you're ass. crumbling dead under ass. the pressure. You made the red yep. pill look like it shouldn't deserve to exist. Anymore. Not even that's the problem. You, he's doing such a bad job. He's making it as if like the whole ideology is bad. Shouldn't even exist, bro. It does. It's not bad. That's your tough. argument is it doesn't matter what I think. It's all based off of your own personal beliefs. And that what's the purpose of anything that we're doing? Here? Yeah, but no. Again, that still doesn't make any sense because, like he said, forget the vasectomy part. In your tweet, you said one of the quickest ways to become high value man is to consistently live in terms of like getting muscle on. Right? What if my perception of a high value man is to not have muscle? I can just be a fat slob 700 pounds that's my concept of a high value man so again it's still contradicting there's clearly mm -hmm. an idea of what a high value man is to exactly you you outline things that would get you to that point and the reality so what of saying? what's happening is is Yo, we have found people on the i know this is so random bro but i've had thoughts of like doing these types of videos and having my boy denny with me just like pretty much what they do and do and doing it our way you feel me it's just, I find it dope as shit, bro. I just, I, I really find it dope. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them for, for even giving me, like, the thought to try to, you know, get into that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. That would get you to that point. But now nah, they the speak in facts, bro. Come on. What's happening is, is we have found people on the internet, men and women alike, who have found a way to monetize the loneliness and yes. the overall frustration that a lot of men have been feeling. Because oh. it fucking sucks to feel like you're not desired. Yes. It sucks oh. to feel like you can't attract the type of woman that you want. And so a new section of the internet has spawned to help assist these people. And even if some people in that sphere had good intentions, there's grifters like this nigga who will sit there and tell you that you have to watch every piece of his content to understand his ideology. You, you got my book here. You got my book there. You didn't yeah, read yeah, my yeah. book. Did you read my PDF Clearly online? Read Did you read book. the ebook too? <clears throat> the, I got an ebook. Take the time out to buy and read my book and then we can get back to this conversation. <clears throat> In all reality, you proved to us during the purpose of the, during the during the length of this call here, during this podcast, that the things that you believe, you don't even believe. Bro. These Pretty men much. get in front of ill-informed and uneducated, non-prepared women, slam dunk on them, and now all of a sudden they make themselves feel good in a room full of other and niggas in the chat who also just want to make themselves feel good. But as soon as they get some form of pushback, how quickly things start to crumble apart because they haven't even thought about it. Like there's no actual contextualiz contextualization of their own content, their own ideology to the point where you can't even answer a simple question like this. But yeah, the biggest bro. reason why I even thought that- And this like this is the perfect chance for him to give his view on it, bro. Pretty much this is the perfect chance for him to give his view on it, but also like, back up his fucking tweet bro like i said the tweet could have started with in my opinion or i think this is the definition you know what i'm saying do these things i think this is the way literally the perfect chance for him to to to, to save himself and he's just he's folding gang tweet was cringe and why he, it sounds even cringier now especially talking about the, this is the quickest way bro yeah. there's no quick way bro i'm gonna let y'all know right now there's no quick way you might get lucky it might happen might fast but on bro, average you get good to get lucky there's no quick way bro don't take shortcuts in life bro do not you know what i'm saying like you can get lucky yes but don't be out here trying to look for shortcuts in life bro it don't matter what you're doing don't go the shortcut route bro you know what I'm saying? Like, really go through the trials and tribulations and fucking the, 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 the obstacles of life, bro, to get to where you want to be.
the end result when you get there is going to satisfy you 110% thousand times more than if you were to take the shortcut, bro. There's no quick way. You might get lucky, it might happen fast, but on average, you get good to get lucky. Yes. It's, it's rare that you get lucky before you get good. There's, there's no quick way. You're going to have to build and grow. There's going to be mistakes made along the exactly. way. Exactly. You got to gotta learn, mistakes, gang. But the mistakes will build you into a better person anyway. Exactly. Get me, and this is a person in is a general <laughs> sense. You learn and you grow along the way in the path of life that will allow you to get to the point where you need to be, and all the mistakes you made along the way will allow you to sustain that level of excellence. And fucking say it again gang to get lucky yes it's, it's rare that you say get it lucky again before you get good there's, there's no quick way you're gonna have to build and grow there's gonna be mistakes made along the way try to manage those mistakes but the mistakes will build you into a better person anyway forget man this is a person in, in a general sense you learn and you grow along the way in the path of life that will allow you to get to the point where you need to be and all the mistakes you made along the way will allow you to sustain that level of excellence so you're going to make the mistakes you're going to make exactly decisions. you're going to have to grow but that growth is a part of the process exactly it's a part of what makes you the high value exactly, man, woman, bro. individual person, whatever. So this idea that <laughs> I can get a quick way around it, the reason why Sneeko and them were so persistent on pushing back on the idea of getting a vasectomy is because of the discipline that comes along with you not fucking around and having kids at an early age is a discipline that you will need moving forward when it comes to raising those children. Yo, with that being said, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want to know the quickest <sighs> way to be a high value person, hit that subscribe button, mm. dog. That's number <laughs> one. Number two, notification. Bell. Number three, follows on Twitter, bro. Those are the three and steps. Then, and then exactly you're on. Exactly. <laughs> so you're learning. You're learning now. Yeah. That's Stop all child creation, man. Because how the hell are you going to watch us if you got to take care of children, nigga? Yeah, no. <laughs> There's no way. This is no way, nigga. Snip, snip, nigga. Yeah. Tie them tubes. Fuck. That's crazy, bro. Oh, I fucking love this. Fuck. I, I love this channel, bro. No cap. Seeing Destiny. Sneeko Unite was like seeing Goku and Frieza fight together in the Tournament of Power. I want to let people know there's nothing wrong with saying I'm wrong or I fucked up. That's one of the biggest things to be in a real fucking man. Dead ass. Own up to your fucking shit too. Don't be out here blaming people. Come on, bro. Glass Sneeko's returning to his former self and thinking critically. Much better than many people in the Red Pill community who can't develop their own informed opinion. It was absolutely pathetic seeing Rollo squirm when pressed on his definition of a high value man. This list is not advice. High value man is a man of high value. <laughs> he lost me at the vex sector. <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, man made himself look so dumb, bro. Couldn't even answer a simple question. This is my definition of a high value man. The perfect chance for him to let that shit out and he just. Let me let me swerve around that motherfucking question. You know what I'm saying? Dummy boy. Let me know what you guys thought, man. That's my reaction. If I enjoyed it, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.